He says, Behold, I have made him, talking about David, a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. The idea is here, God's made this everlasting covenant. David was the first witness. Jesus is the witness as he died on the cross for our sins. And now as he's passed the baton of faith over to us, we become those witnesses. Now, what is a witness? A witness in the Old Testament, Hebrew language, just simply a legal term. It was used in all kinds of literature. And it means that you've you testify of something because of something you've seen, heard, or experienced, or it could be just the fact that you were at a wedding and you signed as a witness to that wedding. It was a legal term. Now, the Bible says that we are to be witnesses, and all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, it talks about us being that witness for Christ. In fact, Adam when he sinned against the Lord, was hiding from God. And God said, Adam, where are you? He was searching for those already that were lost. Matthew, it says, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, go everywhere. In Mark it, it's 16, it says, go with me. In Luke 24, go together. In the Gospel of John, go as, I, as the Father has sent me, so send I you. In Acts 1.8, it says, go with power. It talks about this power in Romans 1.16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the very power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. In spite of the fact that salvation is a point in time experience, evangelism is a process. Evangelizing is a process. And you start off by, by 